Well, growing only in a narrow 60 mile band on the western slopes of the Sierra Nevada mountain range in California, the sequoia mm -hmm. is the largest tree in the world. And one of the largest SUVs <laughs> in the world is the Toyota Sequoia. After 14 years, the Sequoia has turned a new leaf and is finally <laughs> redesigned for 2023. Let's check out the 2023 Toyota Sequoia as we go behind the wheel with Harvey Briggs. We're walking through uh, two zip codes on this thing. <laughs> <laughs> this is a big vehicle, Mark. This, I mean, and it should be because it's named after one of the biggest living things on the planet. All new for 23, the Toyota Sequoia. This is a full-size body-on-frame SUV, so it's very traditional. Gone is the V8 of old. Instead, all Sequoias now come with a turbocharged V6 hybrid powertrain, which improves the mileage. Sort of. And the mileage on this? 19 around town, 22 on the highway. And that is... And that's not towing anything. No, that's just your, your standard mileage for this vehicle. One would think a hybrid would get better mileage than that. One would be wrong. They use the electric motor and the battery to really enhance the torque and power output so you can tow on the base version of this vehicle, you can tow 9,500 pounds of trailer. And you're going to need to pull a trailer because if you load up the family for a vacation, there is simply no room for luggage in the back. And speaking of no room, the third row is kids only. The question is, how useful is that third row? Shall we give it a shot? Go ahead. Be my guest. <laughs> All right. <laughs> You're 6'3"? Using a crowbar, we extracted Harvey from the back seat to check out the business end up front. So that's the, that's, the hybrid. That's for the hybrid system that controls all the, um, the battery power coming in. Then you have a twin turbo V6 under here. It's 437 horsepower, 586 pound feet of torque. And that allows you to tow a lot of stuff. And you need that power because this weighs what? 6,100 pounds in this trim, so three tons of fun, Mark. <laughs> and tons of money as well. Our all-wheel drive capstone hybrid in windchill pearl stickers for $80,900 with destination and a built-in dash cam. It's full of high-tech gear, state-of-the-art navigation, even built-in Google. I could go, hey, Toyota. What do you want to do? What's the forecast for Madison for the next t couple of days? It is cloudy in Madison, Wisconsin, and it feels like 36 degrees Fahrenheit. This, it's a rough ride. <laughs> it's a truck, Mark. <laughs> Ford Expedition, which is built off the F-150, or the Chevy Suburban, which is built off the Chevy Silverado. Th these are sort of the original SUVs, you know, when people thought about them. It's a truck. This thing just rumbles along, doesn't it? It does. It makes a lot more noise than I would have expected for a vehicle that purports to be luxury. Uh, this is it's not a not a handling it's not a handling car. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot to handle. That's Put it right. that way. It's a handful. <laughs> We have too much fun on that. It definitely <laughs> makes a statement. <laughs> Harvey is here now. It's, it's a lot. Yeah, it is. And and that whole category is like that, though. I mean, the, the base price of that starts above what a um, Suburban or even uh, Expedition does. But when you get to those top-of-the-line trips, the Suburban will actually cost more than $80,000. And a capstone is? Capstone is the stone at the top of an arch. So that's so sort the, of there. It's the, the pinnacle, the top shall we of say, the top. of the line. And, you know, I mean, it's, it's a really nice vehicle for what it is, but it really fails in third row leg room. Uh, and also uh, luggage space behind there's, that. There's none. There it, really isn't this much. much. Yeah, there really isn't much there, which is kind of a problem if you're a big family and you take that, buy a vehicle like that to go on road trips. It wouldn't fit in my garage. No. Well, it would, it I wouldn't. don't think mine, yeah, that's a good point. I never thought of that. Yeah, it's, I, it's made for a newer home, yeah. <laughs> One of those three three garage door yeah. things. You'd look good in it, I think, in, in that pearl. <laughs> Especially <laughs> that wind chill pearl. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, Harvey, thank Thanks, you. Harvey, thank you. Go to ridesanddrives.com for more reviews on this and all the cars we drive. And 